Stick with me as I show you three inexpensive tricks that'll help with your heating bills. I recently moved into a place that has very poor insulation. So I'm doing everything I can to warm it up and in New Hampshire it can get pretty cold. I used to put plastic sheets over windows when I lived in West Virginia, but I actually found something that works a little better and uh, surprisingly cheap to free. I found it over at this guy's YouTube channel I'm kind of a fanboy of his. It's called a uh, Missouri Wind and Solar. And this guy shows you how to save money on everything. So I tried one of his ideas and it worked really well. What you do is you take the bubble wrap and make sure you get the ones with the big bubbles, not the little bubbles. And you get a spray bottle and you just simply spray the window and then put the bubble wrap on it. This creates a lot more R value right on the window. You need the large bubbles not the small bubbles now if you get a lot of packages you might have enough free scraps to do this but probably not for the whole house the what I did is I just spent twenty dollars and bought this enormous roll on Amazon so it'll be more than you need I will link that for you uh, so you don't have to hunt around and find it this is probably the best deal I found now if you wanted I guess you could put a plastic sheet over all that if you wanted to uh, make it even better but Surprisingly, the bubbles work really good. So let me show you what that looks like. So I have not quite finished this house yet, so I still gotta paint this, but you get a good idea of what the bubble wrap looks like. It uh, is great because it lets light in, so the plants can grow good. And I think it does better than the regular plastic wrap, if you look at it. In the daytime, it kind of creates a cool mosaic effect. It almost looks like a fancy window. And all you can really do is see kind of like a silhouette of a person. You know someone's in front of it, but you can't really tell who it is or what. It's almost like a frosted glass. Here's what it looks like from the outside. You can kind of see the kitchen and get a little better idea, but you can tell someone's gonna walk by, but that's it, see? There's Kate walking by and you can't really even see anything. You can just kind of see a silhouette. So you definitely have privacy. It's great. If you have a view you'd like to maintain but still have some privacy, you can just leave the very tops of the windows open. That's what we do so nobody can really like see you changing clothes or anything. But you can still look out and see the snow and everything. The heat works pretty good with the window three-fourths done. So I just leave the top fourth open. I even have them done on half windows. So I like to look out this window and see the birds eating on the ground. But you can see the top part of the window is done. But I can still see out. And you know, half window is better than no window. You can put clear plastic over this part if you wanted. It'd probably work well. Or you could even double up. Like I said, you could put plastic over plastic for ultimate R value. Over on his channel, which by the way, I'll just link to his channel so you can learn how to build this stuff and see some of the cool ideas over there. He also has a heat recovery device for electric dryers. So I've got this electric dryer. Although this device isn't very pretty, I'm sure I could paint it and pretty it up. And it looks a lot better on his channel. Uh, I ran out of supplies and had to use metal tape. But the idea is you are using all this heat to dry something and most people just vent it outside. So in the summer I get it, but in the winter, man, I'd like to have that heat in my house. So if you have an electric dryer, don't do this with a gas one, you can build these devices, which is basically like a water bucket that catches the lint and then it lets the hot moisture out all over the house. So this is our old school dryer. What I've done here is take the exhaust and put it into a five gallon bucket of water. Now, you want to have vent holes, and I use metal tape to attach this, but there's much prettier ways to do this, honestly. This is uh, kind of the ghetto version, down and dirty. But what happens is when you open it, you'll see that all the lint collects in the water, and then you just throw out the water. 
what happens is this hot air comes out of the vent and goes into the house and the hot air plus the moisture makes the heat last a really long time so it's um, a great thing to do in the winter if you have an electric dryer do not do this if you have a gas dryer the gas fumes will poison you moisture is really important in the winter a lot of people don't realize that moisture can help their heating bills what happens is if your house is very dry say you're running electric heat and the house dries out the air doesn't have much moisture and it loses heat very quickly but if there's little water droplets all over the house those water droplets actually heat up and maintain and release heat so humidity will keep you from spending uh well basically keep your furnace from working so hard you can either get a humidifier that blows into the air or you can use this dryer trick because it does put some moisture in the air for an entire day anyway i thought i'd share these tips because i do love saving money and i hope that you'll try some of these anyway please leave some comments below i'd love to hear what you think or if you have some cool ideas on how to save some money i'm always listening don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel also, give this a thumbs up, a like, a share, or if you have something to add, remember to comment below. Thanks. Also, don't forget to stop by terranlupo.com. I have up videos that you can't see anywhere else. Currently, I have one on carnivorous plants and also how to make your own mead. All you have to do is go over and sign up at terranlupo.com and all that's free.